Welcome to Lab 5. What we're going to do is we're going to take a break from Psalms. Now, we'll go back to them, but we're going to take a break and look at a couple New Testament books, if you will. The first two we'll look at are books that we don't hardly ever study, but they're very, very important books. So the one I want to take you through for the next couple sessions is the book of Philemon. Now, to understand Philemon, you need to understand the background so you understand what's going on. Whenever you study scripture, it's so important to find out what in the world is the writer writing about? What's going on? What's the background? So I need to give that to you today before we actually get into the text. Now, the book of Philemon was written by the Apostle Paul. This is one of the prison epistles. When Paul was in Rome in prison and he writes to a man by the name of Philemon. And Philemon was a man who lived in Colossae. Now, Philemon was probably a guy that was pretty well off because he had slaves. I'll talk about slavery here in a minute. But he had a slave by the name of Onesimus. Now, Onesimus was a slave who was not a very good slave. So what Onesimus did is he stole from his master, Philemon, and then he ran to Rome to get away from everybody so he could just kind of melt into the society. And so when he ran to Rome, somehow, some way, we don't know, but he ran into the Apostle Paul. And the Apostle Paul led him to the Lord. And so then Onesimus started serving the Apostle Paul. He was a real believer. And he started serving the Apostle Paul. But the Apostle Paul knew something. He knew that Onesimus and Philemon, who also was a Christian and who um, the church met in his home, they needed to be reconciled. They needed to be brought back together. And of course, that's God's heart. So what Paul does is he writes a letter. And he sends this letter uh, along with Onesimus to go back to Philemon. Now this was a very, very dangerous thing to do. Back in those days, slavery was very, very big. It was part of their culture. In fact, it was the foundation of their culture. It is said that back in that day, there was like 60 million slaves all over the Roman Empire. So there was a lot of them. And about a hundred years before this, there was a man by the name of Spartacus who was a gladiator slave who led a slave revolt. And so the Romans were very, very scared. Or the Roman world was very, very scared of slaves getting out of line. So again, this was a dangerous thing for the Apostle Paul to do because when Onesimus goes back to Philemon, even though Philemon was a Christian, this was dangerous. Because back in those days, if you ran away, uh, you could be executed. Uh, if you ran away, the, the, the nicest thing they might do to you is put an F, a burn of F in your forehead for fugitive slave. That would be the least of your problems. But again, remember, back in those days, a master could do anything he wanted to a slave. So this was very, very dangerous. Let me give you an example. Back in those days, the writers write about a man who had 400 slaves. And one of his slaves rose up and killed the master. So what did the Romans do? The Romans killed all 400 slaves. That's how they looked upon it. So, so Paul sends Onesimus back to Philemon, but he writes a letter. And in this letter, we learn about the Apostle Paul. In this letter, we learn about Philemon. The greatest of all, in this letter, we see the very heart of God and we see our salvation, a picture of what Jesus Christ has done for us. So come back tomorrow and we'll go and we'll look at the first couple of verses of the book of Philemon. Let me pray here first before we go. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for what you teach us. Thank you for salvation. So, Father, as we study this book of Philemon in the next couple of sessions, Father, help us. Help us to see the important things that you're trying to show us uh, as Paul writes this letter and says so many neat things. Father, help us to see it, but help us to apply it. 
Again, Father, thank you for Jesus and what he means. In Christ's name, amen. Thanks for joining us.